hello students how are you today hope you're fine hope you're good still we are still on the vertebrates the lesson on vertebrates and i want to explain more about this topic to you and concerning the animals that are cold-blooded and the animals that are warm-blooded animals that are cold-blooded live in the water why the animals that are warm-blooded they live on the land now we have examples of animals that live in the water and also examples of animals that live both in water and on the land so we have example of fish Fish majorly live in the water, while we have frogs and salamander that live both in the, in the water and on the land. And when they're in the water, they breathe through their gills, and when they're on the land, they breathe using their lungs. We also have the group of reptiles, which are the snakes and the turtles, and they both live in water and on the land. Snakes breathe with their gills in the water, while turtles also breathe with their gills in the water and lungs on the land. Now let's go to the warm blooded animals. We have the mammals. They have fur on their body that keeps them warm. Animals like the cow, like the elephant, they are what they are mammals. You and I are also mammals. We have the bears and they fly in the hair. They have wings that help them to, to fly and they have feathers that keep them warm. They also breathe using their lungs. So whenever you know about animals in the water, they what they are cold blooded and the ones that live on the land are warm blooded okay i hope you understand this lesson if you have any question for me please come to the whatsapp and drop a message for me thank you so much